welcome to english class for third standard and uh, today's topic is the selfish gene so already we know the story uh, so let us discuss today the exercise from your textbook so just open page number turn to page number 42 children in that based on your understanding of the story state whether the following are right or wrong so you have to take it whether the statement is right or wrong correct the wrong ones and then you have to correct the wrong ones just you take the correct ones and uh, put uh, into mark in the wrong statement and later you can write in the class of as in the whatsapp group so just fill just tick the uh, whether it is correct or wrong you see and you read here and you come to know that one okay children so first one is the jay lived in a castle the jay lived in a castle is yes, correct so this statement is correct so put the tick mark like this and then second one the jay came back to his castle after two years so this is wrong so you have to put in two cross the foot and then and later i send this in the group so i correct it and i send children so just keep it in your textbook like this put into mark for second statement the jay lived the sorry the jay came back to his castle after seven years isn't it so that is that is wrong and the third one the children were spoiling the jay's beautiful garden is yes, wrong with this third one is wrong fourth one when the jay came back and saw the children in his garden he was very happy he was very happy and he came back from the from his friend's house no he was not happy isn't it so that is also wrong so you have to write the correct statement like they have given there no so we will do that one later okay children so the fifth one is after the children went away it was always spring in the garden so it is also wrong so after the children went away it was winter in his garden not spring and the next way also just read it no more to write anything here and then Turn to page, come to page number forty-three. Word smart. In that jumbled words are there. So what you have to do? Here are some jumbled words that you can relate with the garden. That you can relate with the garden. Unscramble them and write. You have to unscramble these words and you have to write. So first one is. So we have to unscramble. So that is first one is trees. T R E E S. Trees. Second one, it is related to the garden. So trees are there in the garden, and then flowers will blossom. So the answer is your blossom here. O S S O M blossom. And then third one is birds. B I R D S birds. And fourth one, fruits. F R U I T S fruits. And then. Fifth one is grass. G R A S S grass. So all this you write in your textbooks. And the next one is bench. B E N C H bench. So after unscrambling, so write these words in your textbook, children. Copy these words, and then later you move on to the next page. So that is turn to page number forty four. In that. Thinking caps on. You can see the thinking caps on. What we have to do here? So write the opposite gender of the given clues to complete this cross fact. So write the opposite gender of the given clues to complete this cross fact. So this they have given clues here. Like cross and down they have given here, isn't it? So what you have to do by using that clues, you have to complete this fact. So that is opposite gender you have to write. So that that you do at home. So answers are right here, children. So you have to write the opposite gender. So first one is horse. First one is horse. So you have to write there may. What is the opposite gender for horse? May. And then tigers. Second one is tigers. So you should write tiger. And then third one is prince. Prince is you should write. Feminine gender and right? as well as gender so here you have to do that one opposite gender you have to write using the clues you have to do this uh, cross patch here so or you can write the answer so you can easily fill this boxes there okay children so prince princess king 